Okay, so now we're looking right there. This is the touchstone piece that comes in the back of the phone. You can kind of see it there. Yeah. So, essentially, what comes with the palm, with the pre and the pixie and whatever, you know, else, essentially we take off the back cover of the, the palm pre, right? Take off the cover. Underneath that back cover, I'm sure you can find this in other places too, so I'm not going to go into it too much. But you take off the back cover and you'll have a little sticker. And on the underside of the sticker will be this piece. Right now, I think I must have thrown away the sticker. just the same because it doesn't really make any difference. You can use any kind of anything to cover it up and make your own sticker. Tape will work just fine. Um, so essentially you have this little piece right here, a circuit, right? And that's the touchstone. You see the, the coil right there and then you see the regulating circuit right there and then right there these little two shiny gold things, those are the contacts. The one furthest away from the coil, furthest away from the coil is the positive, and the one closest to the coil, the one with that big glob of solder on there, is it's going to be your negative contact. So all you have to do is connect the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative on the USB, the USB connector, in order to make one that will work with any phone, or any phone that has a USB, of course. I, I assume that an iPhone would be chargeable this way. Um, not 100% on that, so. But I, I think uh, if I had an iPhone, I would probably give it a shot because it looks like it's fairly safe. Um, so underneath that, I was telling you the sticker that Palm has. It has these little things. These little metal discs. They're really tiny. They're they're thin. You can see right there. They are not magnets, but they do respond to a magnetic to a magnet. So basically these will stick there'll be four of them underneath that sticker. So you got one, two, three, four, all the way around it. So in order to attach the phone to the touchstone by magnet that's what this relies on. The touchstone itself, remember, that's that hockey puck thing right there. The touchstone itself um, has magnets in it, inside there. But these little discs are not magnets. They're metal. So if I were to take this to the touchstone, it would most certainly go where it's supposed to. So there are four little spots it goes to. There. See, it won't stay even if you push it up. So these are really strong. Um, this, The magnet inside the touchstone is really strong. So having four of these... Oh, well, that didn't work, did it? Yeah, there we go. Um, having four of them uh, enable the phone to stick really well. Uh, in fact, if you don't decide to charge with a touchstone, it may even be worth it just to have a, a mount like this in the car. Uh, a magnet type mount. So you can put four of these little metal discs you know, in that arrangement and have it touch be underneath a sticker on the back of your phone and it would stick to the the car mount really, really well. Um, probably the most practical part of it. Uh, other than that, let's see, how did I do this? Um, so I took, I did that connection like I was kind of previously describing. I myself decided that I needed a nice slick solution to make the Epic uh, work on my wife's phone, so um, I went ahead and picked out uh, something that would be nice and slick. The only thing that I saw that was a slick connector, USB connector that was 
really low profile, slick in my word, um, was the Paramat, the Paramat's adapter for the Evo 4G back. So I bought the Evo 4G back, you can see that, of Paramat, that's this thing. So if you're wondering, oh, well, Paramat and Touchstone, they're both in inductive charging systems. I wonder if I bought a Paramat back and I had a Touchstone, if they would work together. No, they don't. I've already tried it. Obviously, that would be the easiest <laughs> and simplest way without doing any kind of soldering or any kind of anything. This is the Paramat circuitry. You can see it's a little different than the Touchstone. Put it right next to each other there. So whereas this, I don't know what's inside, but it seems like a, it's almost the same texture as like a, a magnet that is, uh, that you'd stick on your fridge, one of those flexible ones. Um, I'm not really sure if that's what it really is, but it definitely does not uh, get a charge whenever you, you put it right next to a, uh, a touchstone. But it is, it does have that strong mag magnetism, see that? can't even get the damn thing off. <laughs> um, and the metal disc might be just right, right in there too. So, um, But that's that. that. So that kind of, you know, I was a little hopeful that it would work and it wasn't. It's also quite a bit different in size. You can see the Paramat's quite a bit larger as far as the, as far as the, the coil or whatever that is goes. So maybe that's why they don't work together, is because they just don't match in size. Um, and of course the, the circuit board is quite a bit huger too, so you can see that if you tried to put that in the back of a phone, it would take up a whole lot more space and uh, it would stick out quite a bit more because the circuit board's, you know, got some thickness to it. Whereas this is pretty thin, except for this little piece right here isn't nearly as thin. What is essential that I didn't, I wasn't aware of is this sticker um, this metal sticker. So you can see it's just a sticker. You can see I made it all dirty and not so sticky, but anyway, you have to have that sticker in order to make this work. So essentially when you're looking at the at the touchstone, now I'm not going to put this on the touchstone itself because that might be a bad idea. I'm not really sure if it will be if I'm holding it just right in order to not get a shock or something from it. So um, I just wanted to show you this right here. If it's stuck on the, if it were attached to the back of the phone, this metal sticker would have to be sandwiched between the coil and the touchstone, like this. It's something to do with reflecting the energy or something like that. I don't know, but if you take this off, it doesn't work. So, if you do this for the Evo. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is buy the power mat thing and use your touchstone thing. If you don't already have one, they have uh, Palm Pixie backs on sale at uh, Amazon or even Radio Shack. I've seen them. Or Palm Pre backs. They both work. This is from the Palm Pre. The Palm Pixie one. I bought one of those. I didn't like it as much just because it's kind of weird looking. It's just got all kinds of junk around everywhere. Like this whole circuit around there and whatnot, just too much junk. So, and I painted that black, that's my my paint, and it didn't work very well, so I wasn't very happy with it. This is just an extra door that I bought for the Evo. But this power mat door for the Evo works great because it's already, it's already deep set in, and you can just put this sucker on there. So, it would go like this. stick it on there and then you connect the uh, the positive negative contacts with wires so you take these little wires and solder them to the positive negative contact remember I said that the positive contacts furthest away from the coil so a bit be this one right here um, the negative one of course would be denoted by your black wire right I didn't want to buy two sets of wires, so I only have this that was donated from the Paramount. There you go, that would go right there. And then you just run those wires down to the USB 
which there's the USB thing that I got off this was just sitting right there. So I just run those to the contacts and it'd be soldered together and that would be all she wrote, all you have to do. Um, of course, make sure that this is like that because if it's inside the phone, you know, it's going to be like that, right? So you want to make sure you got your touchstone, it's going to look like that. You want your touchstone to be sandwiched your coil will be sandwiched in between that that uh, aluminum or whatever kind of metal sticker it is um, between that and the touchstone in order for it to work. The wires go in, they go to the USB, you plug in the USB to the phone on the bottom, that little USB thing, and you've got a hookup. Now mine, mine's hardwired in it. I don't have a USB um, hookup because this is my earliest project. Uh, had I had to do a do-over again, I'd probably choose the easy way out and not do it um, hardwired, because uh, it does require taking apart your phone and you know putting a whole lot of uh, soldering into the components of your phone, which understandably will make you a little nervous about breaking your warranty and having to buy a, a phone at retail price, which is like 500 bucks. Um, but you'll see here. I'll show you kind of briefly what I've got under the hood, so to speak. I don't have very much room to work with because I shortened the wire so that the, that the uh, back wouldn't stick out. I'll try to open this. Oh, if you're ever opening anything um, on your phone, like trying to separate two pieces of plastic on electronics, I saw this neat little trick. It's with a guitar pick. I think everybody should know that. Just take a guitar pick and you know run it across. Of course, I have my guitar pick on the guitar, so it's not going to work out for me right now while I'm holding this camera. Eh, there we go. Here it comes. Off we go, buddy. Almost one more step, I think. Yeah, you get a nice tutorial on how to do this one-handed. There we go. All right, the Evo. Under the hood, that's a uh, or aftermarket battery, by the way. And you see there that oh, there's a palm sticker right there. Yeah, well, it's connected there. You see the positive and negative connected there. I used the same color wire because I didn't want to buy two two different colors, twice as much for the little wire I'm using. So that's hardwired in there. And it's kind of right there, the, the corner of the battery is where they're kind of tucked under and goes to the the phone's circuitry, the positive and negative context, which you can credit goodnevo.net for providing me all the tutorial stuff for that. It wasn't in a video form like this is, but, you yeah, know, it's definitely worth its weight in gold when it comes to this particular mod. You can see how I just turned it back on, you know, wirelessly charged it. So that's part two. If you want uh, a more detail than how to get her done, then uh, we can do a part three.